Tesla has already disrupted the auto industry. Soon, the energy industry, and then the AI industry. Well, actually, when it comes to their AI industry, they're gonna make a whole new segment, which would be full self-driving and in robo-taxis. But that's that. What The question is, is what's the next industry that Tesla may disrupt? Hmm, I wonder what it would be. And wondered, I did. I went on to X and I put, name the next industry Tesla will disrupt. And shout out to Open Skies, she said that insurance when FSC is implemented. And I'm just like, oh my god, that is so true. The next thing that Tesla will describe and probably bankrupt a couple of other companies too, is insurance. And I did some digging here with a fresh article, which was September 12th here, that says, study says Tesla poised to disrupt insurance market just as it did with the auto market, and I so agree with this, but here's the thing, a new study from MarketWatch suggests that Tesla's pioneering use of advanced telematics in assigning insurance risk may disrupt the insurance industry as much as the company has already disrupted global auto markets, which is an absolutely a sheesh moment, but how, would it, how does this thing work? You know, let's see how Tesla will calculate and give you a better rate than the other insurance companies here. And here it says, based on driver safety score captured and calculated via Tesla's own proprietary software, the company can assign risk levels to customers and offer lower rates to drivers the company considers less risky. The score looks at driving behaviors such as following distance, aggressive turning, hard braking, seatbelt use, driving speed, and forced autopilot disengagement to determine a score from 0 to 100. The higher the score for the driver, the lower the insurance rate. So pretty much, we know that Tesla they're collecting data as we go so insurance will work the same way it'll track how you drive and your insurance will be based on that simple and easy not like tradition automakers where they go like oh, five years ago you got into this weird accident that we can't justify and because of that we're gonna slap you on and punish you for another premium of two three hundred dollars a month dude that happened five years ago why are you penalizing me then till now no see how I drive now and go based on that and that's what Tesla is doing right now. Now scrolling down, we can see if it's working. Now here's the thing. Tesla promised when it launched its insurance program in 2019 that drivers could see savings of 20 to 30%. <laughs> Imagine whatever you're paying right now for insurance and you have a Tesla, it's going to be 20 to 30% cheaper. I mean, that's, that's crazy. I mean, with Tesla's everything, the savings, so will this be absolutely ridiculous. In reality, those discounts may be even higher. According to data complied on the Value Penguin Insurance Comparison website, Tesla insurance rates are approximately, get ready for this, 49% lower than the competition in Texas. 49%. Half. That can represent a significant saving. No crap! Of course it can over the total life of a total ownership of a car. That I mean, this is poised to literally almost bankrupt the insurance companies. And the insurance companies, they don't make much money. Their profit margins are maybe 3 4%. And if Tesla's going to come and do this, now obviously this is only towards Tesla vehicles only, but if FSD does get licensed out to other vehicles, then probably they can Tesla can insure them as well. Okay, let's not go down that rabbit hole. But... Let's just stick to Tesla vehicles only. Ah, GG insurance companies. The catch. Now, here's the thing. Tesla insurance is only available in 12 states, right? We, that's why we're not seeing much of Tesla insurance in many places. We have Arizona, California, Colorado, all these places that we have here. And obviously, for insurance to really scale and to really show in the you know, financial statements is they need to be you know, scaled. And I think Tesla will scale after... FSD is solved because they're so confident, Tesla's so confident that they're willing to insure the Teslas with FSD that, you know, accidents are rare or extremely rare. That's why they're confident of having insurance. So that is crazy. That's absolutely insane. I can't wait for them to go in for the entire United States and then Canada and then Europe and then slowly and so forth. But here's the thing. The question is, how much are they doing right now? Well, 
We have the information right here as well. Tesla insurance, which is currently available in 12 states, as we just saw, is at $300 million annual premium run rate as of end of 2022. The business is growing 20% a quarter, which is faster than the growth of its vehicle business. I mean, energy is going in the vehicle business. FSD will soon do that. And now insurance. I mean, insurance is already is, which is absolutely insane. That's 80% on an annual basis. Now, check out this chart. I made this chart here. If you guys haven't seen this chart or haven't seen the video of this chart, Tesla stock price, including everything, I recommend you guys check over here or go on to Patreon to get access to this so you guys can mingle around. But I got Tesla insurance here. For 2024, although they should be for 2023, for 2024, I put 300 million and 80% year over year. If we do that, that's by 2030, over 10 billion in revenue and over 1 billion if we give it a 10% profit rate by 20 flipping 30. But here's the thing. As soon as they enter more markets in the United States and they go into Canada and Europe and all that kind of stuff, you think 20% a quarter, make, you think 80% annual is, is even, you think that that makes sense? It does not. You're now going nationwide, global, and international. And that deserves, I'm going to say, 300% growth every single year. If that happens, let's go ahead and drag that with a 10% profit margin, $200, $200 billion by 2030 and 10% of $22 billion. Does this make sense? I don't think so. But again, other insurance companies are only local, only country. Tesla, because they'll have millions of vehicles, it's going to be in flip insane. Okay, maybe 300% is a bit aggressive. Let's bring it down to, I don't know, 200%, right? Just a little bit more than double of what they're doing right now. I mean, over like 22, I mean, there we go. 19 billion, 2 billion. I think this makes, this makes, I think this makes more sense. But if, if it triples every year, then we just saw over 200 billion, which is absolutely nuts. But this is definitely the next industry that Tesla is going to disrupt, hands down. And it's just a matter of when again, and when FSD, here's the thing, when FSD gets solved, we'll get RoboTaxi, we'll get the insurance. This is gonna be an explosive year for Tesla. It's gonna be in flipping insane. So let's quickly run down what Tesla has disrupted since they've you know started the company. The auto market, soon the energy market, we got insurance, then gas stations, right? Gas stations, then it's gonna be AI, Probably going to be Uber and Lyft as soon as FSD and robot taxi is it. I mean, supercharged gas station. I, mean, I just mentioned that, but it, it's just a company of disruption. And that's what the opportunity is. People are looking forward for better products, better services, and better everything while being clean about it. And Tesla takes all that. But insurance, insurance, this is a very big one. Um, not too much in terms of revenue and profits. I don't think it'll make much of a dent in the stock price. But nonetheless, it's still going to give Tesla this same feeling as energy, giving it a higher floor for the stock. But here's the thing. If you're a Tesla investor and you're looking forward long term, then vehicles isn't really the only thing. Yes, insurance is, is one of them that you want to look forward to, but it's very small, small, tiny. Even if it scales at large, it's not going to be nothing compared to the FSD and the other stuff. Here, check out this video. There's two things that you Tesla investors need to keep in mind in the next Q3 and onwards because you guys are forward looking. We're not looking at just the vehicle business. These two things will keep you and have a strong conviction in the Tesla stock. Don't sleep on it. Check out the video. Guys, don't forget to get the merch. I bought the dipped Tesla shirt merch and uh, subscribe for more and I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.